Thanks, Ed. Well, as you plan your Labor Day parties and barbecues, you might be thinking about an elevated cocktail to serve to your guests to celebrate the end of summer. Well, here at studio with us this morning, we have master mixologist Scott Lobianco, and he's going to tell us all about elevating our drinks when yeah, it comes to bringing guests over. Well, we're happy to have you here, especially because I'm Italian. Lobianco, you're Italian. We've we been talking this. about his Sicilian heritage, but wait, we got to talk about drinks here first. <laughs> all right, we're going to be talking about spritz cocktails. Is yeah, that, that's like spritz. a big trend, right? It's a it's a big trend now. The low ABV cocktails. Uh, a big trend right now um, and St. Germain uh, really shows that um, it's the all day drinking. That all, right, do, right? all right, wait, I've only been drunk once in my life, okay? An ABV sure, sure, sure. cocktail. Yes. What, what, what was that uh, so uh, alcohol by volume. Okay. Um, so when we're talking about low ABV, we're talking about um, liqueurs, we're talking about uh, sherry, vermouths, things along those lines, right? Um, that are not going to like rock you right off the bat. Okay, so when we're talking about these spritz cocktails, why are they good for folks who like to try to mix up cocktails at home? Uh, I love them because they're pretty easy to make. Um, so the spritz would have originated in um, Austria um, as a way to take higher proof wines mm -hmm. and bring them down a little bit with water. Okay. And then so we, then the spritz yeah, in Austria. Exactly, okay. right? So you can go to Venice and, uh, you know, with the, the home spritz, of the spritz uh, there, right there. there go, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a, it's a beautiful way to just uh, be able to have cocktails all day long. Um, very simple cocktails as well. You're going to show us how simple it is, I'm going to show right? you exactly Well, let's get started. Here we go. So, um, the classic one that we love to do is the St. Germain Spritz. Mm -hmm. um, very simple three-ingredient cocktail. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, our Martini Prosecco. Mm -hmm. um, sparkling wine is going to do the trick here. And thank you for starting out with Prosecco. Prosecco. Yeah, we wanna, you wanna, can tell him it's all right. Yeah. it in our family, yeah. right? <laughs> Lo bianco. <laughs> All right, there it is. So you start it, and that looks like an awful lot of Prosecco, but hey. It looks like a lot right now. Um, the cocktail that we're serving in this carafe does about five cocktails. So this okay. is perfect for the party, right? You can make it once, put them out. Mm -hmm. And then you can go back to barbecue, and you can go back to doing And then next up, what would we do? Then we're going to add a little bit more of a soda water. Mm -hmm. Going back to our watering down uh, mm -hmm. heavier wines. And last but not least, we're going to start focusing on the St. Germain. Um, so St. Germain is a beautiful thing in the cocktail world. It's called the salt and pepper mm -hmm. of the cocktail world because as a modifier, you can put it into anything. It's going to really elevate everything that's going on there. Super complex. Um, it's an elderflower liqueur. Right, so this uses oh, just the like, like Harry and, and Megan had an elderflower cake. Exactly. So now, now we, the we trend continues there. with elderflower liqueur, right? So, and then this stuff's really neat. So, 100% fresh elderflowers that okay. we uh, source through France. Come on, let me sniff it real quick before we put it in there, okay? Because no, I, I, ate, I ate some elderflower cake and yeah, the aroma is just really The nice. aroma's uh, there. It's uh, nice and floral on the nose, but it's not going to be as floral as, uh, you know, like don't think roses, okay. right? Um, that's not the point of what we're trying to do there. We're just trying to make a little complexity on the palate. Now, this it's, makes it easier for you to make five, like you said, but I mean, does. I can make these individually too. You can, can make I? them I individually. Be, yeah. um, two parts uh, Prosecco, two parts soda water, and one and a half parts Saint Germain. Okay, now, uh, as you we continue, it. we got to hurry up and get out here. So, as you, as you hurry up and make that there, I have to say, I, it's not every time, but boy, there, this newscast has a lot of cocktails on it. They really like to serve up and, and educate us on cocktails. <laughs> this because it's a fun-loving cast here. It is. Okay, but look at how the bubbles go there. So then yeah. you're pretty much done. Then you so serve it set. over ice. So this is perfect for the party now. All you have to do is pour, and you and I are about to enjoy a cocktail here. <laughs> Scott Lobianco, I want to thank you so much. Uh, not only for being Italian, not only for serving Prosecco, and also we had some, uh, well, Perry, oh, you could have used San Pellegrino, but, I know, I know. but it's all right. Trader but anyways, here. if you're getting ready for your barbecues and you want to serve something fresh that smells great, yeah. okay, here, cheers. Let's go. Cheers, Ed. There's some over here for you, too. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning. We truly appreciate it. If you'd like to take another look at these drinks and their recipes, just log on to our website, CBS. CBSChicago.com a little bit later on this morning.